Hey everyone, it's Pros and Toys back in today's video with another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. I know you guys haven't been getting enough of these lately, so I decided to make another one. <laughs> Anyways, today we are looking at Echo in his mercenary gear from Bad Batch Season 2. And here's the side art, looking really, really nice. I'm loving that. Former Art Trooper Echo's knowledge of proper military tactics and strategy provides valuable insight while his sucker arm and cybernetic implants give him the unique ability to interact with computer systems. All right, let's open him up. And here is Echo out of the packaging and like, mm, I mean, I was messing around with him off camera and I was messing around with the previous version as well. And unlike Hunter and Wrecker from the same wave, like there's little to nothing that changes with Echo here. Like, the only thing that's different is they both have different shoulder pads and different knee pads. Like everything else about these figures are the exact same. And that's a little disappointing seeing is that like Hunter and Wrecker like had diff had new tooling uh, for them. They had different parts used, but Echo largely stays the same. And uh, that's more of like, um, it also lends to like a complaint that I have about the series itself. And that's that Echo really takes like a backseat to everything like he doesn't really uh, I, I don't know he doesn't have like a personality he doesn't have like a story arc going he's just like he's just kind of there now don't get me wrong like I love Echo I love the Clone Wars but I feel like him being in the Bad Batch didn't, didn't really serve a purpose like I'm pretty sure he's gonna like step up into the tech role in season three uh, spoilers uh oh <laughs> but um yeah like I just don't really care about his character in the show yet and that figure really reflects that like the the makers hasbro they just didn't really care when making this figure They're like eh, like f it let's just um use all the same parts the switch i give them regular clone knees for some reason god why would you do this that's awful like the shoulder pads uh like the new shoulder pads though and yeah, and the details are pretty much the same as the last one if you have that one there's like dents creases uh, slashes all around the sculpt, you know, signifying like, you know, this guy has been through war, he's been through it all. New shoulder pads don't have any, like, any of those. And, um, yeah, the legs, they just use the regular clone legs, so there's no detailing there or at the bottom or even at the shoes. Just this area right here and a little bit of the helmet and the backpack. Still the same, but I really like the look of this backpack. Really, really compact and nice. And yeah, let's see it. Let's see how he looks like without the helmet. And here he is without the helmet. And I feel like it's the opposite of the other figures. Like I've been liking the newer ones better, but I think I like this first one a lot more. I, I think it's because the eyes are a lot darker and this one is like a little bit brighter. I, I, I can see if that's like more accurate to the show or to the act, actual actor, Timur Morrison, but I just like the darker eyes. I think it looks better. And going to the side like the silver these little thingies right there again professional toy reviewer right here yes sir um yeah the little pieces on his head are silver and these on this one it's gold not green gold so yeah a uh, little little difference there i really like it though you know to set it apart even more and if you're wondering how in the world they put on the helmet without uh, taking off this little piece there it, it does come apart right here and you're able to slip it off like that if you want to put it back on you can just plug it back into the hole like so and yeah there you go but going over articulation with the helmet on the head is not able to move up so much it's able to move down just a little there is slight pivot and side to side movement and without the helmet you're able to look this far up this far down there is pivot right there and side to side movement and he has shoulder joints able to move this far up and I think yeah there's a little slight pivot in there allowing him to move this far back this far forward he's able to go all the way around the shoulder joints if his shoulder pads are attached to the shoulders um, he has a single jointed elbow allowing him to move a little bit further than a 90 degree angle standard wrist articulation he has a diaphragm joint allowing him to move this far back this far forward side to side pivot and of course rotation he has those clone, ah, those clone 
thighs that don't allow them to kick all the way forward, but that's okay because there's rotation at the knee, allowing them to kick forward normally. And he's able to kick this far out to the side, very much inhibited by the skirt piece. And going back just a little, he has a single jointed knee, again, able to rotate. And he has standard, wrist or standard foot articulation, allowing him to move this far down, this far up, and a rock up pivot. For comparisons, here is an extra Rekka and Hunta crosshair and a clone commando. And then season one, Echo and Tick, Hunta and Omega, Rekka and a bootleg phase two clone trooper from AliExpress. And last but not least, the Marvel Legends and Spider Ham. Overall thoughts, and I think it's fine. It's okay. Definitely my least favorite from this Walmart exclusive Bad Batch wave. But yeah, it's not like super super bad by any means um yeah pick him up if you really want him like right now i kind of see this one being easier to find than the other ones but yeah but that'll do it for today's video hope you enjoyed please like comment subscribe share with a friend anything you can do that will support the channel will be greatly appreciated and with that i will see you in the next one mm -hmm. i need to drink some water